Hello, everyone. It's teacher Teresa from VIP Kid, Out School, All School, Rexel Book Club, and Bright Seeds Academy. I wanted to take a moment today to just talk about the fact that we've had yet another school shooting and our government still hasn't changed anything. I remember the very first one I ever in encountered in my whole life. There was a school shooting in Bishop Newman High School in Williamsport, Pennsylvania. And I don't remember the year, but I know that I was in eighth grade and I was an eighth grade student at the public school and had been transferred to the Catholic school because my mother wanted to give me a better life where I was ridiculed and bullied and treated very badly. I was there nine weeks and switched back to public school. In the short period of time between when I left the middle, the Bishop Newman High School and switched back to public school at the middle school, there was a shooting at Bishop Newman. And I was an eighth grade student, so I would have been in the cafeteria when that eighth grader shot, fi fires were shot in the cafeteria. So I guess that looking back, I'm really shocked that we've gone from just, you know, these minor shots fired in schools to mass killings of students and still nobody's done a thing. There's an organization called Shelter in Place. Shelterinplace.com offers school districts an opportunity to purchase bulletproof shelters for inside classrooms. It would not be too expensive for every school in the United States to have shelters in place in the classrooms that when they're not in service for emergencies can be used as book nooks. They are actually rather appealing looking given what they're designed for. Do I like that America is reached a point where we really definitely need shelter in place in every classroom in the nation? No, I do not. But I'm also tired of seeing innocent children and teachers killed year after year with not a thing changing. I encourage you to write to Congress and ask for them to put shelter in place in every classroom. Because I already wrote to President Trump last year when we had the last school shooting and nothing changed. I'm I was kind of bothered by that. I, I got back a form letter. So it's not like anyone from the government actually even read my letter, it was ignored. And so I'm hoping that if I reach more of you, maybe more of us can write letters and maybe they'll actually start to listen. Shelterinplace.com for every school in America. Have a great day, guys.